Thank you very much. Um, I would like to talk about the Pan Asia Platform Study for Physician Medicine in Masuki Asia. And thank you very much for inviting me to this um, uh, wonderful Congress. So next slide, please. So I am a stranger here. So um, thank you very much for staying in the room and listening to my um, session. So I am currently a, a staff physician at the NCC uh, Hospital Japan, which is the number one oncology hospital in Japan. But um, I am originally a gynecologic oncologist, um, and uh, my research interest in gynecological cancers, clinical trial registry data, and the academic trials. So let me um, begin with my presentation. So um, this is a brief slide of the keywords uh, for this um, 20 minutes. So as the technology for cancer genomic sequencing advances, the cancer types have um, subdivided to smaller categorization by biomarkers. And for these, um, the new clinical trials designs are needed for such small but enriched populations to promote per personalized medicine. So for this session, I would like to um, you to take my whole message as four keywords. Master protocol, registry data, real world data, international collaboration, and decentralized clinical trial, which may be a new thing for you to bring home. So next slide, please. So I would like to start with the common cancer. So lung cancer is really um, a common cancer, but, but the 75% of lung and renal carcinoma patients harbor a driver mutation, which I think you know well, and leading to a recommendation of a tyrosine kinase inhibitor nowadays. But looking into the uh, figure below, um, each biomarker positive population is small. Each AFR is really um, common. But looking into the right part, like ROS1 fusion, the fusion genes, the HER2, and the VRAF fusions, um, the population is sm even small in common cancer. Next slide, please. So this is one of the examples of the rare um, subtypes within this um, common cancers. So this is a retrospective study that we have done in NCC Japan, looking into the ALK fusion patients who have uh, received the, like, um, electinib, crizodinib, the TKIs, or ALKOMAS, we call it ALKOMAS. And looking, you can see that the change from the baseline is really significant. Um, it really decreased the um, tumor size. But there are still no regulatory approved ALK inhibitors for these patients. So we have looked into the patients that have ALK fusion not in the lung cancer. So um, we cannot keep ignoring these small patient population even in the common cancer. So based on this retrospective cohort, we started a prospective clinical trial with electinib, and it's really going on with a significant results and yet to be published. But yeah, now we are looking forward for that. Next slide, please. So how do we bring these drugs to the clinic? Issues we face for a small population is that from the pharmaceutical company point of view, one is the low cost effectiveness. Even with a regulatory preferential treatment such as the extension and re-evaluation period, they feel that it's low cost effectiveness and not enough incentive to develop at the expense of using internal resources, the low priority in the pharmaceutical portfolio. And also, the companies does not possess disease registry data, so they lack of reliable historical controls. And from the regulatory authority point of view, there is a lack of evidence for, to confirm the result for the approval. Since the limited sample size for the small populations is in the trial, a lack of comparative control data. But um, this is because that um, for the small population um, patients, we cannot do the phase three randomized control trial, right? So we thought that what we need is an academia form of patient collaboration platform. Next slide, please. So we have launched this uh, new design, one, the keyword one, Master Platform Study in Asia, Academia. So registry part uh, started in Japan 2017. Um, this is a rare cancer registry, uh, gathering up the clinical data, patient backgrounds, pathological assessment, treatment response to, and the prognostic outcome. And for the biomarker data, since the um, NGS panel testing is um, reimbursed in Japan, we have the genomic analysis, 
and the protein analysis like IHCs and others. And we have the clinical trials part uh, and multi-ongoing clinical trials are available. And for the registry data usage, we have the experience of regulatory approval application um, as um, giving the pharmaceutical company the data. New, uh, next slide, please. For the registry part, the aim is to build a comprehensive database for rare cancers. Please be noted that our registry is focused on the rare cancers, which is a small population. And to establish a reliable historical control data that can be used in pharmaceutical applications. And the most important thing is assign the patients to the clinical trials as a treatment option. And this is a collaboration between academia, industries, and patient advocacy groups. You can see in the um, letter half, um, we are connecting the dots. Next slide, please. So as for the registry study, in Master Key Japan, as of March 2024, um, nearly 4,000 patients have already enrolled in quality assured comprehensive data of biomarker and clinical information, including treatment response and survival data is available. And we are data sharing with the institutions and also the pharmacs. And for the clinical trials part, um, the list are the ongoing clinical trials, but um, we have the terminated and completed clinical trials, and uh, the total is 31. The increased treatment option for rare cancer patients, this is important, and the registry data was used as historical control upon regulatory approval submission. So next slide, please. But we have come to one idea that if we expand these to Asian countries, maybe the small population does not remain small. So we have expanded this master key to Asia and started off with Malaysia. You can see that uh, we have collaboration with Sarawak General Hospital, Hospital Sultan Ismail, Hospital Kuala Lumpur, um, Institute Kanzer Negara, and Hospital Pulau Pinan, and also UMMC. Thank you to Dr. Rosita and Dr. Wan. And um, Ipoh Hospital is in consideration, but you can see that um, governmental hospitals are, were in our focus. Um, the reason is because we have the collaboration with the CRM, um, Clinical Research Malaysia. And uh, Korea, Taiwan, Vietnam, Thailand, Malaysia, Philippines, Indonesia, and Singapore is already joining our platform. Next slide, please. The main um, difference from Japan and Asia is one thing. We are providing the NGS testing for the Asian cohort under this study for free. In Japan, the, I have already explained that the NGS testing is already in reimbursed and the patient can use their health insurance system to do the NGS testing. But except for Korea, most of the NGS testing is not reimbursed in Asian countries. So after the patient gives consent to our study, um, the site will send us the tissue and the blood to NCC, and we do the FFV quality check, central pathological review, which is really important for the rare cancers. And the um, central molecular profiling, including the DNA, RNA, seq. Uh, we, um, our panel consists of over 600 DNAs and, and of the fusions and the germline mutations. And we do create the ATLAS report and send back to the sites. And these data is also in our registry. Next slide, please. So over 700 patients were enrolled as of May 2024. And top three sites is from Malaysia. And thank you very much for the Malaysian uh, patients and also the um, institutions. Next slide, please. So I have presented these slides at ASFL 2024. And I would like to share some with you. These are the cancer types in the difference in Master Key Japan and Asia, but um, most of them are similar because um, we are, as a um, Asian, we are very similar. But looking into the uh, proportion of head and neck cancer and biliary tract cancer, it is more common in Asian cohort. So if we bring these um, collaboration, we can expand the clinical trials and um, convince the pharmaceutical companies to bring the clinical trials to Asia. Next slide, please. These are the treatment drug tubs types used for cancers by country. This may be a sad slide, but please be noted that this is a real world data of the rare cancers. So compared to Japan, um, you can look into the dark yellow part, which is a clinical trial drug, 
and the um, green one is a molecular target agents. And the blue one, uh, not the blue one, sorry about that. The purple one is the <coughs> immune checkpoint inhibitors. You can see that compared to Japan and Taiwan, the proportion of the use of clinical drug drugs and molecular target agents and immune checkpoint inhibitors are in Malaysia was smaller in rare cancer patients. Please uh, be noted about that. I think it's different when you come to the common cancers, but for the rare cancer, this is the truth with the real world data. Next slide, please. And these are the real world data of the rare cancers, the target biomarkers between Master Key Japan and Asia. You can see on the um, left hand side, this is a Master Key Japan. Um, you can see that many, many target biomarkers led the, the treatments to the patients, but in uh, Master Key Asia cohort, the number is less. And you, when you look into the proportion of the own target therapy divided by the received pharmacotherapy, 20% of the patients in Japan receive the target biomarkers therapy. Thank you. And, but in Asia, 7%, so which is very, uh, which um, shows the disparity within the Asian um, rare cancer patients. Next slide, please. So we have launched this Master Key Platform study to Asia. And next slide, please. So the intended use of pharmaceutical regulatory application, which is um, the benefit for the ph pharmaceutical companies, which we have to convince them to give us a drug to do the clinical trials, is that as evaluation documentation is the hardest and the re-examination application is the um, easiest ones, but we would like to provide those to, to um, make it really appealing to the pharmaceutical companies. So, the next slide please. The clinical trials are nonetheless important data. So we have launched 31 clinical trials within Master Key Japan. But we would like to expand this to Master Key Asia and um, increase the treatment option for the rare cancer patients in Asian countries. Next slide, please. So these are the ongoing ones like Tosmetostat, Trastismo, Derkustekan, Terabotin, Vinimetin. So these are the ongoing ones. Next slide, please. And these are the pharma-sponsored ones. And the um, slides that I have shown is academic trials, so which may be some kind of new ideas to Asian countries. And what um, the presenter, my, the former presenter said, the academic trials is really needed in the Asian regions. Next slide, please. So within the clinical trials of Mass to Key Japan, I would like to show you about some examples of the trials. This is a trial result of uterine carcinoma sarcoma, um, which is a rare cancer um, within the gynecological cancer and has really poor prognosis. And Trastuzuma Derkostekan for HER2 expressing advanced or recurrent uterine carcinoma sarcoma, which is called the STATUS trial. And this uh, result was published in JCO last year. And the response rate is really significant. Fit over 50% for HER2 high and 70% in the HER2 low group. And some patients are still living, which is really, really surprising. And you can see that response in the waterfall plot in the above A and B. You can see that it's really significant, right? As a gynecological oncologist, I'm, re I'm really surprised about this. And we also do the um, studies with the clinical trials using like PDX to show that it's a driver mutation and um, patient A and B enrolled in the clinical trial established PDX and um, show the results um, too. Next slide please. Um, this is the second one, the intimal sarcoma. This is a super rare cancer. And we have done the MDM2 inhibitor with intimal sarcoma with MDM2 amplification with a 1B and 2 study. We cannot do the phase 3 study. This is um, the point of the small population. And um, the results were significant too, and the results were published in this cancer discovery. But um, since the time is limited, let's skip. And please look into the um, Dr. Koyama's publication later. Next slide, please. And the last one also um, is a rare cancer with MSI high and DMMMR. 
and the overall response rate was 60%. This is surprising for these patients too. So please, um, this, uh, this is my boss, but uh, this is in publication accepted and in publication. Next slide, please. So what Master Key Asia do and aim for, I would like to highlight this slide. The find the right patient, right treatment, at the right timing, and provide the treatment option. We are aiming to do this to the Asian populations because the Asian population encounters, for the rare cancers, limitation in accessing precision oncology. And the urgent expansion of clinical trials throughout Asia is crucial to address the disparity that lies within Asian rare cancer patients. And also, with this comp comprehensive data representing diverse populations, we could explore tailored treatment approaches that account for genetic, environmental, and cultural factors specific to Asian patients as uh, Asian as a whole. Next slide, please. Yeah, thank you very much. So this is the last keyword, decentralized clinical trial. Um, the aim, you can, I have explained that the aim was to find the right patient and um, provide the right treatment at the right timing, but this is also the same aim. Find the right patients, right treatment at the right timing. And decentralized is nearly called patient centralized clinical trial. And this uh, fully centralized one is the um, clinical trial that we are really used to. All procedures conducted at research site. And the fully de decentralized one is all procedures con conducted virtually at patients' home. But we have the mixed type, hybrid type, the some procedures conducted via mobile clinicians or alternative sites, which we have introduced to our academic clinical trials for two clinical trials. Um, that is called Tazeta trial and Perfume trial, but we are doing the hybrid decentralized clinical trial already in Japan. So next slide, please. And we are also planning to um, expand these DCTs, decentralized clinical trial, to Asian countries and collaborate and give the benefits to the Asian patients too. So, the so we the initial plan is to expand to Thailand. So there is a Thailand uh, um, flag, but patient can still stay in at their home and. Um, NCC will be responsible for all clinical trial related activities and we do the online visit by telemedicine and do these stuff like um, eligibility check and the most important is efficacy safety evaluation will be done by NCC and but it's really hard to prescribe the drugs so we have we will be having a partner hospital at that country to do, see the patient collaborating with NCC, and we delegate with the contract. Research funding will be paid, and the examination results are shared to the NCC. And the partner hospital will perform the delegated examination like blood tests, CD scans, and upload the results to DCT system, which is a cloud system. And um, the patient can stay in Thailand or that country, and this will be a really a benefit. And what is good with the DCT it will be ex um, explained in this slide. The benefits of full DCT in oncology is that better clinical trial access from distant area, which is very understanding, right? But, and also, what is important for the sponsor is the fee, the funding. So we can reduce the clinical trial cost with the DCT. The cons are introduction of the DCT system, which is a kind of a complicated system, but it takes time. But for the pros, we can shorten the approval period if we have many, many institutions from uh, many regions, because it's a rare population, small population, right? And also reducing the monitoring costs because the results will be shared to NCC and NCC can check those without the SDVs. Next slide, please. So this is my last slide and take home message too. In the era of precision medicine, cancer types are subdivided to smaller categorization by biomarker, which will be a small population and hard to do the clinical trials and increase the treatment options. But the new methods like master key study to utilize existing 
data and well, as well as the international collaboration are the key to future successful cl clinical trials for these patients. So thank you very much for listening and I hope we can expand these to the Asian regions. Thank you very much. <laughs>